All right, guys, on today's video, I am going to show you how to change the oil in your Honda HRX 217 HYA mower. This is going to apply pretty much to all Honda mowers. Now, the oil that's in here currently is the factory Honda oil that was shipped with the unit. And the manual states that you need to change the oil after the first five hours of operation and we have exactly five hours of operation. The tools are very, very simple. Right here, your hands. I'm gonna be using AMSOIL, synthetic small engine oil. I've used this in um, pretty much everything that burns gasoline that's a small engine for years and years and years. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put the mower where the camera is not blinded by the sun. I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, then I will place the cardboard under the mower so it won't scratch the deck. I'll get my handy dandy drain pan and we'll go ahead and drain it out. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run the engine, get the engine up to operating temperature and we will do that. Watch how easy this starts. Awesome. All right, so I've got the engine up to operating temperature. I'm going to clean off the area around where the dipstick slash fill area is. For the oil. This will oftentimes have a lot of grass and debris around it and I'm gonna get a clean portion here. I'm just gonna make note of the oil. Now the proper procedure to check the oil in a Honda mower is to just lay the dipstick in and then pull it back out like that and there's hash marks here and as long as it's to the top hash mark, you're good. You don't need it any more than that. Don't make the mistake of screwing this in and then unscrewing it and checking it. That's going to give you an artificially high reading. Now, next step, I'm going to lay that aside and I'm going to turn the gas off. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the mower completely over so that it drains into the drain pan. Let me scoop this over a little bit. Not like that. See, the problem is the handle. You know, I don't edit this stuff out, guys, because this kind of stuff just happens. It's funny to watch. That's why I have a piece of cardboard down. Why in the world mower manufacturers make it so that you have to tilt the mower over like this to change it is beyond me. So you're going to get about 13 ounces out. Yeah. I made a mess. So after I do that, I usually will tilt it over one more time just to see if there's any residual oil. And of course, it's going to make a mess again, probably. There may or may not be any additional oil come out, and there is a little bit. That's good enough. 
So, see, my Doberman, he likes to pick trash up. All right, now, that was the hard part. Now just take a small funnel. Just place it in the, making sure it's clean. Place it in the opening. And then I'm gonna take my AMS oil and just fill it up. Now depending on which mower you have, it may, and which engine you have on that mower, it may take more or less. After the first oil change, you should notate that somewhere. Now I believe the next oil change after this is, at, at least on this mower, is 50 hours, I think. Generally, what I do is I change the oil once a season, and that's definitely not going to be 50 hours for me, but... So again, take the dipstick, just place it in there, and... We're right there. So this basically, this engine takes pretty much exactly 13 ounces. Um, once that is complete and you're done with your, your cleanup, and go ahead and test start the engine. And that's all there is to it. I don't know how much a mower shop would charge to do this job, but it's, as you can see, can be a slight bit messy. That was my fault. But anyway, do it yourself, save the money, and that way you'll know it's done.